Uh, glory to the King of Kings, precious Christ, even uh, the Holy One of Israel, for this day, for their protection. And thank you, God, as today, 30th, this year is coming to an end. After tomorrow, we'll be in, in 2022. Thank you for thy love. You've healed me. You've guided me. You've walked with me. Many had planned even to see this year at the end. Many had a lot of expectations. But uh, Lord, it's thy graciousness. I've seen this day. You've been with me since January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December, and the year is coming to an end. And then we say, glory to the Holy One of Zion, even the Christ. Thank you for thy protection. Thank you for walking, guiding me, feed me, O Holy God of Israel. Thank you for thy graciousness. Thank you, my God, my Lord. And, um, and today, I will tackle... Let's say, uh, from let's say a touch of uh, 2020, this 2021, and uh, what we've seen this year, we say glory to the name of Holy God of Israel, the Christ, because in this year 2021, <laughs> oh Lord, we we have seen a lot has happened. Oh my God. And the word of God still stands for evil. Even the book of prophet Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 8. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the words of my God shall stand for evil. Um, what I, I, I'm talking about is uh, false prophets. Starting year 2020, hundreds of them in Africa, America, in far lands now, they were prophesying how, oh Lord, <laughs> President then elect Trump was going to re, to, to re, re elected. That we've seen that failed, confirming that these people are lying. And these people, or men of God and the women uh, all over the world, they have millions, I tell you, followers on, or congregants who, who come to their chapels, their churches, to the places of worship, where they worship, they praise God. Not only on Sabbath, but Monday to Sabbath, so we can say. But uh, I don't know what we can we say. After all, most, all, almost all of them prophesying how um, COVID was, was going to disappear. COVID has not gone. It has changed into Delta. Now today, it's Omicron now spreading all over the world. And this shows us without a reasonable doubt. For real, we have very few prophets on earth today. Even, even if they are there, then the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, has not taught them anything. Because in 2020 we are saying these prophets were telling us how this corona evil disease is, is passing away. But it does not. P people are dying. Businesses are in standstill. Economies of many countries have fallen. And, they, and they still, it's still creating havoc after havoc. Oh, praise the Lord. And as this 2021 year is coming to an end, my message is that trust God in truth and in spirit. And we know the Lord our God 
loves righteousness no shortcut nothing else nobody should deceive you and at this 2021 i am telling you as we as we we were we were not only i but um, other men of, of, and the women uh, christians in this world they said these people are liars these people are lying but in, in late 2020 they told us that their prophecies are true and in january in 2021 this year the lord will confirm to them that they are indeed prophets and prophetesses but these people are lying they have been um, using fraud even uh, even their own words by saying the lord has said god has told me but uh, now we can see god of israel yes he has not revealed anything to these people and in this 2021 year alone the lord has indeed shamed these people you can see the false teachers false prophets they are, shed, they are shedding tears, not only in Kenya, across Africa, never in places like Zimbabwe, in places like South Africa, Nigeria. Uh, not only day or a week after week or a month, they are being exposed. Because these people are indeed liars. They, they pray, they, they pray within the scripture, you, you understand now to it's well to, to hurt and uh, snatch the little savings uh, Christians, men and women, uh, they, they have been um, accumulating by saying the Lord has told me, but now we can, co we can uh, I can confidently say these people, the Lord has not revealed anything to them. Now the drama is after the president of, of America, Trump, he was defeated by Joe Biden, we are saying, still now the year is ending, and uh, this Joe Biden and uh, Kamala Harris, the vice, they are still ruling America. And this now, confidently now, <laughs> means these people are false prophets. These people are liars. And uh, we say that uh, Christ is holy, and there is no any day, any time, will ever associate with the liars but they continue on they continue lying and their blind flowers across the world they, they keep on supporting them and we know these people are liars they lie all the time by telling those who don't study the scripture or maybe those who understand the lord has revealed to me you see this will happen tomorrow day but this People are liars. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. And in this 2021, now they are quiet. Those prophets and prophetesses in America, they cannot talk anymore. In Africa, you can see them. Others have um, painting uh, criminal cases or fraud or maybe scandals, sex or others. Indulging, indulging in incest and uh, it's weird where they've made the name of the Lord even to to be to, to be laughable even before the heathen and before the haters of Christ and all these now shall come to pass upon them if they will repent as soon as possible the Lord might be merciful to them and save them, maybe from the torment which awaits them. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Christ. Thank you for thy glory. Thank you for thy power. Thank you for being me. Oh, Lord, use me as vessel. Not in my own glory, but you should be glorified for even to you. Because you are king of kings, you created these world, and there is no Lord than thee. And I know that those who have had this word, oh Lord God, those who have not received Christ, there's no other way to go to heaven. No other way. Even book of St. John chapter 14 verse 6, it's by Christ 
Lord God, know that Christians who have challenges, oh Lord God, who are sick, maybe their businesses, they have a lot of love. Give them a breakthrough, and I believe they shall be thanked to and thy holiness. And as 2021 ends and we end in 2022, this false prophets and prophetess is, if you won't repent, the fire is still upon thee, the Lord shall plague you and you shall disappear from this earth even uh, so quickly you shall vanish with same lightning all god thank you lord thank you for this uh, thank you for thy glory thank you for thy power oh god who can be like unto thee none than thee even the creator of heaven and earth you're gracious and merciful, even for even the evil. Thank you, uh, Lord, my God. Thank you, Lord, God. Uh, thank you, Lord, God. <clears throat> because as I conclude, uh, we, we say to, to those who had prophesied, or maybe this 2021 things will change, and nothing has changed. Because I say, Joe Biden is still president of America. And this, without reasonable doubt, confounds all these hundreds of respected men, on, men, men or women in Christ. They are liars, fraud. And uh, if so, we have no prophets in this world. We don't have. They all, they all lied in the name of Christ. And that is the truth. Christ is holy for even the evil. And he will never, at any time, at any season, associate with falsehood. Amen.